This program deals with extreme weight loss and should only be attempted if you've tried everything else, are sick of lugging around excess flab, and have consulted a physician. Where's the junk in your trunk? Her last 10 pounds? Right here. Her last 10 pounds? Right here. My last 10 pounds? Right here. Sophie is a feisty French school teacher who is desperate to say au revoir to her extra flab. I want it out of here. You gotta get lower than that. Sophia enlisted in boot camp hoping to look svelte for her 16th wedding anniversary. You're my survivor. But she'll have to ditch her bad habits in favor of my tough workout. Let's go. We're to succeed on the last 10 pounds boot camp. You need to survive this. Let's go. Give it to me. Moment on the lip, right now on the hip. I don't actually like the term cancer survivor. I think that I'm a cancer thriver. Cancer doesn't have me, I have cancer. I've got a handle on it. It doesn't mean I can't live. I've had eight to 10 surgeries over the last probably 10 to 15 years. I've been declared cancer free again. I'm so excited. Business in the front, party in the back. My weight has fluctuated. Pure flab. This is what I've lost. This way. Probably at my highest way, weight would be maybe way. 270. In the last six months, I've dropped about 50 pounds just through a better diet and a lot of good hard work exercise. I'm so busy. I get up, I'm, I'm up early, I'm out the door, I'm at school, I'm running here, I'm running there. Sometimes it's not till after lunchtime that I actually get a moment to eat. I've got to grab something on a go. Muffins are delicious. It's like they melt in your mouth. They feel healthy. Pop. I love popcorn. I really do. If I wasn't married, I might marry popcorn. My 16th anniversary is coming up and my husband and I have a lot to celebrate. I just got these great results. I'm cancer free. I'm gonna have this last bit of weight off and I'm gonna look absolutely fabulous. I'm Tommy Ura, pro football player turned personal trainer. And this is my partner, nutrition coach, Nadine Bowman. Coffee breaks over for this muffin top. Hello, Miss Sophia. Oh, hi. Tommy, you're up. Personal trainer. Nadine Bowman, nutrition specialist. Let's get right to it. <laughs> Hands up. Bust, 39 inches. Finger in your belly button. Waist, 36 inches. 36. Feet together. You don't have to yell this one out. Hips. Forty-seven. I know. Stop it. Forty-seven. Wow. A lot of junk. A lot of in junk the in the trunk. Up on the scale. Weight. One hundred. Oh, that one's okay. <laughs> Wayne Gretzky. Oh. That would be one ninety-nine ah! for non-hockey fans. I'm quite muscular though, so. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've also have a big frame, so. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm also 5'9". Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, you are a survivor. I'm a thriver. You're a thriver? Yeah. Are you ready to survive the last 10 pounds boot camp? Four weeks worth. I'm committed. How committed? 110%. We'll be focusing in on Sophia's bulky lower half as we slim her down before her wedding anniversary. My favorite part, let's check out Sophia's kitchen. Dried cranberries. Now here's my issue with dried cranberries. You're getting dried fruit, sugar, and oil. Packaged noodles. This calorie count is only for half of a pack. You have to take these numbers and times everything by two. You have to read the labels. What is in the food that you're gonna buy? Cream cheese, not bad for you, and this is light, but a serving is one tablespoon. Light is not a license to eat more. Who only eats one tablespoon? No one I know of, and certainly not Sophia. I'm not saying butter's bad, but when you put gobs of it on your popcorn every single night, it's gotta go. What is really in the food you're gonna eat? Sugary juice. It's important to read those labels. In order to cut out calories and cut out sugars, cut out the liquid calories. Drink water. It's not like there's a water shortage here. What is in here? Oh, it looks very, oh my goodness. 
You know, I'm not saying don't eat chocolate, but again, moderation. Hi, Sophia. Hi. Before we go forward, we're gonna take a look back. Now, your weight has yo-yoed quite a bit over the last few years. Mm -hmm. What's the heaviest you've been? 269. Did it look anything like this? Oh. Look familiar? Yeah. <laughs> I have a couple pictures that look like that. And what goes through your mind when you see that? Well, I just don't want to look like that ever again. Because you are a fighter. You've got a great attitude. It's going to be a complete lifestyle change. Mm -hmm. Nutrition and fitness. And I'm looking forward to the next few weeks. I'm afraid of not measuring up. Well, you're a little frightening. Well, you ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, great. <laughs> Target outfit time. What are you looking for for the 16-year anniversary? Jeans. So get a pair of jeans, a nice sexy top, and I'll tell you what I think. All right. Happy shopping. <laughs> that looks like you're standing under a flock of seagulls. <laughs> Go. Okay. <laughs> I'm not a cougar. <laughs> Definitely not. I like that. Yeah, me too. A couple slow turns. Feel comfortable? Yeah, I like it. What size is the top? It's a large. We're going to keep it as a large for now, just the way the top fits. But I'm flatten down the stomach. Mm -hmm. You could lose the muffin top. Yeah. What size are the pants? 33. Well, we're going to get a 32. How am I going to fit into those? If that man can wedge this booty into a pair of 32 jeans, I think I will wrap my arms around him and give him a big kiss. <laughs> down, down, down. Run, run, run. You got to get lower than that. Five push up. Come on, let's go. Give me the last 10 pounds. French teacher Sophia is thriving after beating multiple cancers. Now, she's desperate to lose weight before her 16th wedding anniversary. Can you do it? 110%. After seeing an old familiar sight... I just don't want to look like that ever again. Sophia knows she's got to give up her favorite snacks to thrive in boot camp. Sophia, welcome to the drill test. We're going to be testing your physical capabilities. You like to get dirty, right? Um, not exactly. Not good for you. <laughs> Let's go. Lunge walk all the way to the far cone. Sophia's got some killer junk in the trunk. You're my survivor. You need to survive this. Let's go. We're burning. <laughs> Come on, let's go, Stop Sophia. It. Let's go. I think what I was shocked about is how much harder cardio is um, when you don't have good footing. 100%? 150. You don't like something? Don't tell me. I shouldn't have said anything about getting dirty. <laughs> keep it going. Keep it going. How are those pretty nails doing? <laughs> Come on, let's go. How you feeling, Sophia? Stop it! Down. Let's go! I thought my cardio was better. I thought I had more stamina. And I sure thought that my arms were stronger. That was really hard. The drill test showed me that Sophia is very strong, very determined. Come on, Sophia, let's go, let's go! Bring the tire Sophia on. really has to work on her endurance. I hate it! Be a, be a fighter, be a fighter, all the way through! I really thought I would do better than I did. You've passed your drill test. You are a fighter. Good work. Thanks. Worst case scenario, Sophia's going to go too hard, injure herself, and not be able to complete boot camp. Open your eyes. Oh, my. <laughs> what is this? You don't recognize this? This is your muffin top. Sophia loves her muffins. She uses them as a quick snack, a quick fix when she's having a busy day. This is the gut buster. And you're going to bust through it and see what's inside. I really did honestly think I was eating healthy. Oh, Ew. what's in there? What is that? Yeah, that's lard. OK. Ew. Yeah, these muffins are full of fat. Don't be duped by muffins loaded with healthy sounding ingredients like nuts, fruit, bran. That represents a week's worth of muffin fat. 28 grams of lard Ew. going right to your gut, right to your muffin top. Yeah. I didn't have any idea that muffins had that many calories, that much fat, the sugar. A muffin is basically a cupcake without icing. Tons of sugar, and you know what? That cake-like consistency all comes from fat. 
fat. Uh, I just am shocked. I really am shocked. Oh, hello. Ew. That is 126 grams of oil, which represents your oil intake from muffins. Is this all true? This is going into your body every week because you're eating a muffin a day. No, no. Yes, yes. No, I mean, no more. I don't believe I will ever eat another muffin in my life. Sophia, welcome to one day in the life of your new food. What do you think? It looks like a lot, actually. So let's talk about the plan. Breakfast, cup of milk or soy milk. You've got your protein and your eggs, and your fruit is your complex carbohydrates. This is the right way to start your day off. For snack, you've got one apple, and this is the light cheese, okay? You were already doing the light cream cheese. And the portion size, you know, it's one ounce. Mm -hmm. That's all we're gonna have. For lunch, you've got a salmon wrap. And notice how half of the plate is filled with vegetables. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that look delicious? Yeah, it looks awesome, actually. Look how big it is. For your afternoon snack, you've got your super muffin and tomatoes with cottage cheese. And that's the light cottage cheese. Okay. This mighty muffin is only 113 calories and it's made with whole wheat flour, unsweetened applesauce, and low fat yogurt. I can okay. do that. Another big tip for you, if the recipe calls for 12, make 18 instead. We've slashed the calories and reduced the fat, and then that's how we make them that super snack-sized treat that you love. Mm. Dinner, tons of vegetables again, and this is a chicken stir-fry, and we're using buckwheat noodles. Just half a cup, which is one serving. That looks really delicious. Yeah. What do you think? Are you gonna be ready to take this on? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, I am so ready to leave those big fat muffins behind. Hello, Sophia. Hi. Welcome to your fitness plan. We're gonna turn that junk in the trunk into a more economical hatchback variety. Okay, I'm ready. Power lunge. The only leg you're pushing off is this one. For Sophia, it's gonna be all about movement, lower body, core exercises. Nice lunge, your back is nice and straight, core is engaged, I like it. Lots of lunges, lots of squats, lots of plyometric type exercises. This is a great one for your chest, great one for your core. I kind of... I thought I was pretty fit, but that was hard. Give me 15 push-ups right now. I would do this seven days a week to get into those jeans. You're working your core to keep you engaged and your back straight. I'm really intimidated by Tommy. Breathe out when you're jumping up. This is a little too close. I don't like it. That's okay. I tend to grow on people. So you're using tension. By staying in that static squat, your legs are getting worked too. That's why they're burning. You have 10 more. I did not survive cancer this many times to give up on a little muscle fatigue. You know how I like to get close to you to yeah, talk. Yeah, I do. Do I scare you now? Yes. A lot of your exercises in your fitness plan are gonna involve lots of legs, yeah, lots of lower body, I need it. I lots know. of movement. Those hips, I that know. butt. They don't lie. They do not lie. And those jeans are not forgiving at all. I'm ready. You're a fighter, right? Yeah. Okay, keep on fighting. Thanks, Tom. Good work. Sophia doesn't like close talkers. Next four weeks. It's gonna be closer and closer. This exercise is great for everybody. How come you're not doing it though? That's why. Keep skipping. Give me the last 10 pounds. I am petrified about the two week weigh in. I just don't know if I've reached my goal. Hello, Sophia. Hello. We're at the halfway mark. Mm -hmm. Time for your measurements. Stand here, please. Hands up. Bust, 37 inches. Down two inches. Hmm, big smile. <laughs> Finger in the belly button. Waist, 33. Not bad, you lost three inches. More big smiles. <laughs> Feet together. Okay, this is the bad one. Hips. 45. Down two inches. 37, 33, 45. Oh. Total of? Seven inches. Not bad for two weeks. You're not smiling. I'd like to see a little more come off the hips area. It's two weeks. Get on the scale. <laughs> Great. Weight, 100. 90 pounds. Oh. That's good. I set a goal of 12 pounds. Just kind of pissed off that I'm still in the 190s. The only thing I would change on Sophia, she shouldn't be so hard on herself. Nine pounds in two weeks is a lot more than the average. And you are far from the average. That's my girl. 
Now let's get you in the Target outfit. Uh, I just feel a little too disappointed. I'd rather wait till I get it all off. So because we can't see what that Target outfit looks like, you know it's gonna be hell to pay tomorrow. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm willing to pay the price. In fact, we can do something right now. Oh, great. <laughs> For most people, they'd be happy. Not Sophia. She ain't most people. Sophia, you're getting your butt kicked for two reasons. Number one, you refuse to try on your Target outfit. Yeah. Number two, we're at Chocolate Park. <laughs> and at Chocolate Park, everybody's guilty. Let's go, come on. Down between the legs, up to your toes, let's go. Sophia's getting her butt kicked because she didn't want to put on her Target outfit. I have no idea how it fits. I can't take any chances. Next station, skipping rope. Run it, run it. We got a double leg hop. This exercise is great for everybody. How come you're not doing it then? That's why. Keep skipping. Abs, ego. He's got it all. Show off, I'm not gonna lie. A little bit of brown sugar there. I like it. I wanna make sure you look great in that Target outfit. You think you're ready for it yet? Not yet. Then go faster. You're in Chocolate Park. But I haven't had any. Guilty. That was intense. You wanna be the champ? You gotta beat the champ. Let's go. Alternating sides. Don't miss the targets. I wasn't aiming for his face. I'm still afraid of him. <laughs> keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. She's a tough one. Uh, you throw a challenge, she'll go after it. She has no quit in her, and that's what it's gonna take. She also brought all the stuff to my car. Your butt's officially kicked. My car, it's up there. Bring everything. Okay. He tells me I'm a diva. How's that 10 pounds feel? Like 20. Push those muffins. Give me the last 10 pounds. After surviving multiple cancers, Sophia joined boot camp in order to slim down for her 16th wedding anniversary. Get on the scale. Her two-week results were better than what some recruits achieve in four. You've lost nine pounds. But Sophia wants more. I'd like to lose 20. So we cranked it up a few notches to help her reach her goal. I want to make sure you look great in that Target outfit. Sophia, welcome to your final challenge. You like challenges, don't you? Yeah. Well, we're heading up to the rock right there. I'd normally have a bag packed for you, but I think today you're going to help me. I'll push the muffins in. Ooh, I broke up with my muffins. How heavy does that feel? Heavy enough. There is no way that was and 10 pounds. The lard. You need the fat. This was an amazing final challenge for Sophia. Come on, let's go. Uh, normally, we hike it. We ran the whole thing. Come on, muffin top. I did not think I was going to be able to do that for sure. How does that bag feel? It was just keeping up the pace. Good. Awesome. She had 20 pounds in her back, not 10. What? She's not normal people, so I didn't treat her like normal people. How's that 10 pounds feel? Like 20. I just wanted Sophia to stay focused and enjoy the moment. Um, she's very hard on herself. I don't want her to think about any numbers, any pounds, any inches. Come on, bring it, woman. I'm trying. She's lost those, and then some. Push those muffins. I feel proud of myself. I feel like I didn't let myself down, and that's probably the first time in a long time, so it feels really good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come here, you. Congratulations. Thanks. You've completed your final challenge. Yeah, I did. Sophia, you're a champ. I knew you could take it. That's where we started. Miss Sophia. Yes? Well, the four weeks is up. Are you ready for your results? Yep. Right there. Okay. Hands up. Bust, 35 inches. Down four inches. Yep, no more ladies. <laughs> Through your back as well. Yeah, okay. Finger on your belly button. Waist, 31. Down five inches. Good. Just yeah. good? No, That's it's all. good, it's good. It's good, I'm just waiting for the booty. Feet together. Hips, 43. <gasps> That means you lost four inches. Oh, okay, that was my goal. Woo. Yay! Yay. I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, that's good. So 35, 31, 43. That's a total of 13 inches. <laughs> I'm really happy about that. You should be. Yeah. yeah. Up you get. Okay. Wait. What was your goal again? 20 pounds. Yeah. Well, I've got good news and bad news. What? I'll take the bad news first. You didn't make your 20 pounds. Oh. 
You got 21. <laughs> 178 pounds. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Cry, baby. <laughs> you deserve it. Are you it. serious? Yeah, 178. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy. You should be. And this is just the beginning for you. Well, I can't wait to see you in the Target outfit. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. I'm so excited. 21 pounds. Yes. Oh, I've actually made it. Looking good, girl. So I take it you're happy. I am, finally. So now, you have your 16 year anniversary. Yeah, I'm very excited. I have a lot to be thankful for. Come here. Thank you. Sophia surpassed her own tough goal and lost 21 pounds and 13 inches. She plans to continue on with her new healthy lifestyle and will be rocking her sexy jeans for her anniversary. It wasn't fun being a big girl or heavier, but it's part of my story and it made me who I am today and I think that's why I've survived. I don't like to say I'm a survivor, I like to say I'm a thriver. Yeah, it's a really good feeling.